Yes, people, welcome back to Brennan Pearson Fitness. As you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be discussing and I'm going to be demonstrating three exercises to help you build bigger delts that you probably haven't done before. They're also going to be very beneficial for you who have any shoulder issues or any elbow issues when it comes to your shoulder training. Before we start, two things that you are going to need before you start trying these exercises out. First thing is set of cuffs. So these are one MR cuffs, get them off the website, I'll tag it down below. These are some of the thicker ones, some of the, the wider ones that you're going to need for some of the exercises. You can use them for both exercises, however, for some of the exercises that you're going to wear the cuffs around your wrist, I would recommend some smaller ones. So you can get 1MR ones, or you can get these ones which I just got off Amazon, um, which fit pretty nicely just for things that we're going to be doing around your wrist, which we'll see in a second if you don't know what I'm on about. But yeah, set of smaller ones and then a set of bigger ones which is going to go on your upper arm. Shout out to Josh Bridgman for sending these out when he first started the company as well. Massively appreciate it. If you want to see mine and Josh's podcast, I'll tag it up here as well for back and lockdown. Excuse my trim, just, just saying that before, before we start. But anyway, let's get into exercise number one. So if you want to build bigger delts, you are going to want to really isolate the lateral head of the delt, the medial delt, which is the middle part running down the side, which is going to be working in shoulder abduction. With a lot of pressing movements, with a lot of barbell bench press, dumbbell bench press, any sort of forward pressing movement that you might do with your chest, you're going to be hitting a lot of front delt work anyway. So isolating front delt with front raises and stuff like that. Come down, up. Shh isn't going to really be massively beneficial because you already hit a lot of volume with it through your pressing. Rear delts, yes, I will isolate them and we're going to touch on an exercise in a second which is going to isolate them a little bit as well. Isolate them on top of obviously doing your rows and your pull-ups and stuff which is going to slightly hit them as well. But first exercise, we have cable lying lateral ridges. Now there's two variations and I'm going to walk through both variations for you now. First variation is going to be with the bigger cuff. So one thing you want to start off with, you want to set the bench to a 15 degree incline next to a narrow cable stack. All of these exercises are going to be on a narrow cable stack. So if your gym doesn't have one, you can use a wide one, but a narrow cable stack will be an ideal. Something like the Cyrex Bravo is the perfect one that you want to try and use, but anyone will do. So you want to line your bench in the middle of the cables on a 15 degree incline. I'll explain why we have it on a 15 degree incline in a second. And we want to set the cables to a height that is roughly in line with our shoulders when we lay down. From this position, set the weight reasonably light to start with. You're going to slide the cuff up onto the upper arm. And then from this position, elbows are going to start to the side. We're going to lay back. And again, let those elbows slightly come in so they're in line with the height of the cables. So the reason that I've set the cables to a 15 degree incline is so we can get a little bit of range of motion. If I had the, the cables flat, our range would be limited by our body. So we can get these extra few inches of stretch on the delts to get a little bit of extra range of motion and hit some different muscle fibers. So from this position, elbows are gonna be locked in 90 degrees and we're gonna be thinking about pushing our elbows out and away from our body, just like we would with a machine lateral raise and control down. So this version of the exercise is gonna be really good for, again, like I said at the start of the video, for you who have any sort of elbow issues because it's gonna take the elbow joint completely out. Once we place any sort of emphasis, any sort of weight on the hands or on the wrist, then the elbow is gonna obviously have to be a point where there's gonna be a little bit of force, a little bit of tension, which could cause you pain. So this completely takes the tension out and really isolates that delt. Just make sure we're pushing out to the side and away from our body and don't let them shoulders shrug up. Nice and controlled, up, pause when you get to that highest point, and control, back down, pause at the bottom. You can do this with the smaller cuffs around your wrist, which I'll show a demonstration in the background now. You can do that, and that's going to be a little bit more emphasis on a length and range. You're going to get a little bit more emphasis in the stretch position, whereas this, you're going to be able to go a little bit heavier, and you're going to isolate the delt in that short and range a little bit more. Hey. Oh. 
Right, so on to exercise number two. Definitely one that I do not see a lot of people do in the gym. It's one that I never have heard of, so credit to James Sutton for this one. Again, I can't take all credit for these exercises. It's gonna be a lateral delt row. Now, you're gonna to have to set your bench up on an upright position. You're gonna be using the smaller cuffs on this one. You can use the big ones, but the smaller ones work a little bit better. And you do not need a lot of weight at all. I've got the smallest pin that this machine has. Some machines, like the Life Fitness one that I use at my gym, are quite heavy. I think they start at five kilograms. So if you have a setting that is a little bit lighter than that, two and a half kilograms, even lighter than that, you might want to start on that one. So from this position, you're going to go opposite. So your right to your left, left to the right, similar sort of way is what we set up the last one. So for most of these delt exercises, you'll find you'll have to go right hand to the left, left hand to the right before you get confused with anything. So reach over, round the wrists, right hand to the left, left hand to the right, from there, we're going to be chest supported, flat against the bench, arms straight out in front. So now you want to set the cables just not in line with your shoulders, but probably more towards the bottom of your rib cage, if anything, anything around your hips. Key point on this one, you want to make sure you're pushing your arms out to the side. So this is what's going to help hit the lateral delt, that little bit of external rotation pushing out to the side. Hands are going to stay just wider than shoulder width apart on this one. And we're going to be thinking about keeping our hands in that position, not letting the weight push our hands in and we're going to drive our elbows back keeping them nice and tucked in so not letting them flare like you would in a wide grip row keeping them nice and tucked in squeezing back as far as we can and then coming forward again not letting them hands come in i can probably afford to go a little bit heavier on this one but just to demonstrate go really light for your first set i normally go between 12 and 15 reps on this one so i keep it light so nice and controlled avoiding them hands from coming in, which is what you'll find when you start to get fatigued, then hands will want to start coming together. Keep them pushed out to the side. And when you're in that end position, I want you to think about contracting your delt. A lot of these exercises, you need to really try and connect and get that mind muscle connection with your shoulder. So if it's new to you, you might struggle with it to start with, but you should start to feel a really deep burn. And the last few reps should be really slow, really tough to try and get that full range at the bottom. But it's a really good one. I normally do three sets of 12 to 15 short rest periods on this one. Whereas the last exercise, you can afford to go a little bit heavier if you want to. But for delts in general, I normally try and stick between the 10, 15, even 20 rep range, just because I feel I've got a better mind-muscle connection with them being a smaller muscle group. So for the third and final exercise in today's video, we are going to be doing a lateral delt reverse fly using the thicker cuffs, the bigger cuffs on this one. We're going to be placing them around the upper arm. First thing, cables are going to be lined up in line with our shoulders. Bench going to be all the way upright. I forgot to mention as well, same with the last exercise. If you haven't already put a weight in front of your bench, you might need to if you're quite strong because the bench might go flying forward and I don't really want you going flying forward. So don't blame me for that one. Yeah, so everything's going to be set up. Shoulder width in line with the shoulder, sorry. From there, same as last time. Cuss around the upper arm, right arm to the left, left arm to the right. Starting shoulder width apart and you're also going to be a little bit closer in with the bench on this one as well rather than further back. Elbows up in line with the shoulders, chest flat on the bench. And all we're thinking about in this position is 90 degrees with the elbows and the wrists. And we're pushing out and away, squeezing back as much as we can. So it's a lot of lateral delt and a lot of rear delt. Because we've got that external rotation, our lateral delt is still going to be getting hit as well as that rear delt. So make sure our elbows aren't rotating in like this. We're pushing outwards, trying to keep a 90-90 position at the elbow. Squeeze back and also make sure that we're not starting to lean back on that one, the upper back will take over. So really think on these delt exercises, especially when it's rear delt, push out in a way rather than squeezing back because then back muscles will want to take over. Nice and controlled, big squeeze. Think about externally rotating them hands, but almost pushing the elbows forward and the hands backwards and then control back until we meet in the middle and repeat again. <clears throat> So there we have it. There are three shoulder exercises that you might not have tried before to try and build bigger shoulders. Try them at the gym. Let me know how you get on down below in the comments. I'll link, obviously, the one MR cuffs and also the cuffs that I got off Amazon down below. Get yourself on the narrow cable stack. I think it's one of the most underrated pieces of equipment, especially for arm Shoulder, to be fair, any upper body training, I do a lot of my training on that and obviously a lot of my clients here at the gym. If there's any other exercises or any other body parts you would like me to cover, maybe there's some exercises that you might have seen on my Instagram stories, 
Uh, if you haven't already followed my Instagram, link is down below. Any exercises that you've seen me do and maybe you're interested in, I'll try and cover them in a video. I'm a big believer in that if you do want to build bigger shoulders, lateral delt and a rear delt movements are the two things you need to focus on. Like I said at the start of the video, you do a lot of pressing, you're going to hit a lot of that in front delts. If you can cope with doing overhead pressing, dumbbell shoulder press is probably the best way to go. Probably on a 60 degree angle rather than being upright completely because a lot of people don't have the external rotation to safely press overhead. But if you have no issues with it, try it. If you do, like myself, have a lot of injuries with your shoulders or niggles with your shoulders, lateral delt exercises are the best way to go and there's a lot of pro bodybuilders and natural and enhanced who do a lot of lateral delt work and not overhead pressing and still have big shoulders. So yes. That is it for this video. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Any questions, drop them in my DMs on Instagram, at Ben Pearson Fitness, like I said, the link's down below. Also the links to coaching, online coaching and one-to-one -one PT are down below if you're in your castle. That is where I'm based for one-to-one -one PT. So yes, that is it. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time. Over now.